Hi. <laughs> Bienvenidas a Super Mamas. Super Mamas. This is Paulina. And this is Frisia. We're new moms. We're sisters. I have two beautiful girls, a four-year-old and a one-year-old at home. And I have one beautiful baby boy. As you can imagine, we have so much to share. We're just two working moms rolling with the punches of everyday mommyhood. I hope you guys enjoy the show. Okay, listas? Here we go. Hi guys, this is Bricia, and this week in the podcast, we have a YouTuber, Roxy Limon, in the studio. She's so sweet, you guys, and so cute. She's going to come in the studio with us and share with us how she got started making these videos and how she's dealing with being a new mom. And my sister and I also share some really cool stories. Okay, guys, I hope you guys enjoy the show. Hey everybody. Sorry about that. <laughs> well, at least I hope some of you guys laughed. <laughs> <laughs> Our guest needs to go to the bathroom. <laughs> what? I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> okay. Well, give me one sec. I'll take in a little bit. You sit on your chair. Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> See, every time I want to do something, she wants to go to the bathroom. She, every time. <laughs> Hi, sister. Hello. Oh, my God. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's doing better than me. <laughs> I think the whole minute just showed you a, lot, a glimpse of your life. Oh, my God. I just needed that. I needed to, like, just laugh. <laughs> How was your weekend? Uh, horrible. <laughs> It's the holiday season. I, exactly. Look, it's I'm supposed Christmas, to be. This is our Christmas special. I'm supposed to be out, you know, like in the snow, <laughs> looking at Christmas trees, shopping. Instead, I've been home every day since like, what, Tuesday? Uh-huh. Um, with sick kids. First it was Krista, then Sabina, and then just everything went to on Saturday. That bad? Yeah. Like, I ended up taking Sabina to the doctor. <laughs> I hope you guys haven't noticed Grisa's in the room with us Yes, he <laughs> does <laughs> Yes, Daddy has that uh, um, and, um, I should turn on her mic uh-huh. I, I, should, I ended up taking her to Kaiser Because she just had fever and fever and I remember you told down. me after we recorded her episode Yeah, it's. I think it's the same thing that she got in Oaxaca Mm-hmm. all over again because like she gets fever like really really high and then <laughs> um uh, let's take a break yeah i'm gonna take let's a little take a break. break sorry guys you said you go to the restroom hold please Okay, so where were you? I mean, besides like <laughs> having a clingy daughter and <laughs> your other daughter exactly. being, sing, um, being sick. So, okay, so Clavina got sick. She got really sick and she's had like really high fevers, throwing up and like she, you know, goes up and down. And then I go to the doctor, I finally go to the doctor because they never give me anything. So I went to the doctor and she has like a viral infection and um, just antibiotics. But she's been throwing up all over me like every two hours literally really? yeah she's she's really bad um she's a little better today i hope um 
But the whole weekend, since Saturday, I was at home with her. And the nights are hard because, you know, she doesn't really sleep. Of and course. She cries and just, like, cries. I mean, you look like you haven't gotten any sleep. No, we haven't. Like, like your face looks... <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't think I've ever seen bags <laughs> under your eyes. Not even when you were pregnant. Because you've never had really bags under your eyes. And right no. now you have bags <laughs> under your eyes. <laughs> yeah. Like, we, like, we haven't slept. And it's just, you know. <laughs> but today I was like, I need to get out of here. I need to go. And um, Anita was with her. So she loves Anita. Yeah, she does. So she's like, you know, on Anita's chest. Anita Garcia was famous this weekend, by she the way. She was. <laughs> if you guys don't want to check out who Anita Garcia is, check out LA Times. Our spread <laughs> came out this weekend. And she comes out. And she, she came out on the cover page with mom. <laughs> I know. She was so excited. Oh, I loved it. Um, I know. But oh yeah, God. so that was my weekend, and I still, it's it's like what it's Monday, yeah, <laughs> the Monday before Christmas, mm-hmm. and I haven't got in my holiday shopping, so that's gonna be fun. <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually ordered a lot of stuff this morning while I was in the toilet. Is that why you? Is that why you texted me? I, <laughs> I was like, I was like, on Amazon, like, I was like, shipping today. <laughs> like overnight i was like yes i got half my list done in the bathroom <laughs> in the bathroom oh well taking a crap <laughs> not really i was just like sitting there just i just <laughs> needed a minute alone Did you see <laughs> <laughs> i needed a minute alone and so i, I <laughs> Krista. and so i i just and so i might go today with Krista. Uh, she's on vacation for the next two weeks. Yeah, I see. So she's going to be coming to work with me <laughs> every day. <laughs> no, she's jumping over the <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So you're going to go shopping with her today? Yeah. Yeah. You're going to go shopping with me, Krista? Yeah. <laughs> I went shopping this um, yesterday. Oh, God. So my husband, my husband, um, my husband's grandma's really sick. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's really sad. She's 97. So, you know, it's like she's lived a fulfilled life. But right now she's in the hospital and she's really bad. So my husband had to drive to Calexico yesterday. Oh, no. And I stayed at home with the baby. And so he stayed at home with the baby all day Saturday. Mm-hmm. Well, half a day. And then I got I stayed with him today. And I had a bunch of stuff to do. Like, not a bunch of stuff. I, I only had like three gifts to get because everything else I ordered online, too. <laughs> <laughs> but these three particular things weren't going to make it on time. Mm-hmm. So I was like, fine, I have to, I have to go and go to an actual you took store. You took with you? So I took him with me. How was that? Oh, was it the first time? I I think it's the first time we're actually like, I'm so up and about, like, you know, running. Because yeah, usually yeah. I always leave him yeah, with yeah, somebody. Yeah, 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 I don't yeah. really like to take him with me. Just So first stop, we leave the car and he was asleep and I felt so bad. I was like, Sh- what do I do? So I, you know, I got the stroller and put him with the car seat in the stroller and he slept through the entire time. (laughs) That was good. He got back to the car. He was still sleeping. Second stop, he was already awake, but he was super chill. He was so, he was just really, really, really good. So that's good. Plus like, you know, he got to do something different. Yeah, he got. And then my girlfriend, one of my best friends, Lucia, she hosted book club. She said, she's (laughs) like, I'm like, because I was going to be around her house. So I texted her. Oh, and then I went to Ross to get my sheets for my new bed, uh-huh. new pillows. By the way, if you guys are ladies are looking for pillows and sheets, Ross is the way to go. Yeah. Big yeah. ups to Ross, man. I hadn't been and there. And Marshall's. Marshall has like really cute stuff too. Really? Yeah. I, I, there was a Ross in Pasadena, so I went there. And my girlfriend lives around there. Mm-hmm. So I texted her and I was like, hey, you know, if you're around, you know, like, let me know. I'll stop by and visit with the baby. And she's like, oh, yeah, totally. Come by. I'm hosting book club. And I'm like, I don't want to crash your book club with my <laughs> baby. She's like, uh, she's like, just come. She sent me a picture. And I was like, fine, I'll, I'll go. So like their book club, they read like bottles of wine, like labels of wine. <laughs> <laughs> That's their book I club. I want to have a book club and like I'm, that. And I'm like, so <laughs> I show up there with the baby and they're, you know, they're they're eating. You know, Lucia is like a wonderful cook. Yeah, she is a, and a wonderful be- host. And a wonderful host. She actually has a blog. I did not know. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. And the blog's called An Editorial of My Life So Far. And I encourage <laughs> you guys to go guys in there and just read her stuff. She's so funny. <laughs> She's so funny. Like, and she's so etiquette. You know how, you know, Lucia. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's all about being a hostess. Yeah. And doing the whole thing I think and she's like, like the perfect wife. Yes. <laughs> anyway, so whatever. So I went over her house and uh, she, you know, my friends were eating and the baby hung out with us. He was oh, like crawling good. around her apartment and he was having pizza with us. <laughs> he was sitting down eating his tomatoes and we were talking. He was just kind of like, damn, she's mosas. Like, you know, 
because in book club, what they read is text messages from guys <laughs> and wine bottle like labels. Because they That's drink, fun. Yeah. I mean, I could only drink like, you know, just I couldn't get drunk, unfortunately. <laughs> and I was like, how things have changed because I used to go to her house and get wasted. <laughs> And now I'm here with my You're baby. You're the one with the baby. And now I'm here with my baby. And I'm like, oh, I don't want to leave. I'm like, do you guys want to come party at my house later while I put the baby to bed and keep this going? Uh, but it was really fun. That's good. That's yeah, good. You I went know. out with him. Yeah, See? I did. It was the first time that I did it. And I was like, I do know. My third stop, I was like, how does Paulina do this? <laughs> How do you do your holiday shopping with your babies? I, I remember I told you last time I went to I went to Bed Bath and Beyond and Target because mm-hmm. I didn't have any food and I, I had to get milk. So, okay, and stuff. so what do you do? Because I I took the Ergo and I and I took my stroller. So when we went I, when I went to Ross, I was like I had to t- I I when, in Ross I use the um, the Ergo the Ergo the baby I, I the baby carrier. And then when I went to the other two stores, which is just, you know, like regular conventional, you know, stores, I just used the stroller. But I don't know. I just kind of felt like the stroller was going to be too much at Ross because I needed to get the stroller. And how was, where is it going to put like the stuff like on the stroller? <laughs> I get I, but then, like, I, I mean, don't know, it's I really mean, weird. I just do like I've been mean, I've been. Like really considering getting a double stroller, but it's too big. It's to too go big. To yeah. Like how are you gonna? How do so you? So I have stores? um I have Savina on the Ergo, and then I have Krista on the stroller, and then I push Krista, and then I and then if Krista <laughs> wants to walk, then I'll just use the stroller to put all my stuff. And then wow. That's why I'm telling you. Last time I went. And what about your purse? Where do you have your purse? Well, that's because why I use the mummy hook. Okay, because okay, so I left the purse. I left all the stuff. So I just grabbed my like my ID, the credit card I was gonna use, uh-huh. and my keys in my pocket. And I just I had nothing. I just <laughs> the baby. The that's why I use the m- mummy hook. Oh. I love that thing because you can just put all kinds of things on your stroller. Well, ladies, I hope you guys are ha- having like a, be- a better time this holiday yeah. season. Yeah, I than hope my you guys, sister, everybody, right? had your holiday shopping. Yeah, already. and um, happy holidays, guys! Yay! Today's our Christmas special. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not really, but sorry. But we have a great guest today. <laughs> we do. We have YouTuber Roxy Limon. This girl has been doing YouTube videos for four years. Has like over a hundred thousand subscribers on her channel. Has has a huge Instagram following, and she's so cool. Yeah, she's really cool. Her husband is super. Her cool. Her husband's super cool. <laughs> her um, baby's so cute. Her baby's so cute, Liam. And uh, check we, her out. Check her out. We yeah, no, met. Like her. Yeah, we met Roxy a couple of weeks ago, mm-hmm. and checked out some of her videos. And I was like, oh, it'd be really cool for her to like come in and yeah. just kind of share with us how she got started. So we're gonna mm-hmm. talk to her about that and. Her being a new mom, she has and how everything has changed. For how her. everything has changed for her, the way it changes for all of us. <laughs> okay, ladies. Well, okay. Uh, when we come back, we're gonna have Roxy Limon with us. We'll be back, and Krista won't be here. Krista won't be here. Bye, Krista. Say bye, Krista. <laughs> okay, then one time she stays <laughs> the quiet. One time she stays quiet. <laughs> This is just like vlogging, like my every day. Nice. Which we can talk about that too. Yeah. And we're back, guys. We're back, guys. (laughs) Hello. (laughs) And I actually had to like do my hair today. Oh, damn. I actually got up and like blow dried my hair. (laughs) (laughs) I made an effort today. (laughs) (laughs) Because we have this. I mean, she's, you know, this big fashion beauty, you know, guru guru over <laughs> here. And I'm like, oh, I'm no, all, you girls look lovely. So I am. Um, I, all of you girls know I love YouTube. Yes, she does. <laughs> I mean, like, I love YouTube. Like, I binge watch beauty, like, tutorials. I really got into it when I was pregnant. Um, and I talk about it all the time on the podcast. And we uh, were introduced to their guest, Roxy Limon. Hi, Roxy. Hi, Roxy. Hi everybody. Hello. I'm so excited to be here. This Thank is you so, so much fun. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Thank, Thank you, you for, for having coming. me. This is Thank awesome. You. And uh, we fed her already. She yes, <laughs> my <laughs> tummy is full. I can't believe I just finished my entire plate. Literally, <laughs> like I feel like a man can eat that plate. <laughs> and I just devoured the whole thing. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Well, That's you're good. still breastfeeding, right? I'm still breastfeeding. Yeah. So it's, I, I'm always hungry. Yes. <laughs> I can thirsty. eat a lot. <laughs> yeah. And thirsty. Yes. Yeah. Oh, my God. 
Oh, I miss breastfeeding. <laughs> I know. Her baby refuses to take it to Chi no more. Really? Oh, my Isn't baby. Isn't he only eight months? He, yeah. yeah uh, when he turned eight months, like a week after he turned eight months, one day he just turned around and just went, don't put that big old thing in my mouth anymore. <laughs> really? Yep. Oh, my gosh. And I wish Liam was like that. <laughs> <laughs> I wish my baby, and she's already like Okay, you guys, months. let's talk about Roxy for a second, <laughs> okay? okay? <laughs> Roxy Limon has a YouTube channel, yes. Roxy yes. Limon 24. Uh-huh. Which I binge watched, by the way, and you started off as just talking about fashion. I know you right. had, uh, I used to have your your first blog was a, it was called Fashion for a Fraction. Yes, and wow, you went about far back. So <laughs> I, okay, so here's one thing that I love to do on YouTube. I am that person that goes to the first video. Oh, I just watch the first video. Oh I, my gosh. I love that. I mean, I just, I, I do this with all of the people I follow on YouTube. Yeah. I love them. I love like the first like couple videos because. And you saw me turning on the camera and turning and it, turn it, it off. off. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and um, you talked about your blog called Fashion for Fraction. Mm-hmm. And then that was like four years ago. Mm-hmm. And now you rebranded your website now it's all things roxy Mm -hmm. and and your youtube channel now is mostly about your kid right and to me that was like you know it's really interesting and just i i I went through the same thing because uh i'm a new mom our kids are almost the same age yes Mm -hmm. baby liam Mm -hmm. is seven months my Mm -hmm. baby is eight months and before my baby I was like a not about the baby life. <laughs> oh yeah, girl. I was like about that party life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I looking at your videos and I was like, yeah, I mean, your videos were all about fashion and shopping and hauls and mm-hmm. you know, beauty tips and how to I style. even have like our traveling videos with like me and Javi like going to like Thailand and oh my gosh, I don't even know where else we went. Mexico, all these places and now it's like all baby stuff. Yeah. <laughs> There's a switch in your brain. That oh, yeah. Like just, just flip it on when you have a baby and it's like baby, 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 baby all the time. Right. Well, I mean, it's also hard to film other videos. Like it's like, well, my baby's always there. Like I might as well <laughs> film a video with me and Liam. Yeah. <laughs> How did you like see your audience change? Or I mean, do you think like now you're kind of reaching a different audience? Do you think maybe some of your new audience is kind of like... Hmm. Yeah, so it's it's definitely a change. I mean, a lot of I I definitely started getting like a lot of moms that Mm -hmm. like follow me and things like that. But my videos on YouTube, I know kind of reach like a younger audience. And I was posting so many videos of like me and Liam or just Liam, Liam, Liam. And I was getting comments like we love Liam and he's super (laughs) cute. But can you bring back your fashion videos (laughs) like and make maybe a separate channel for just like Liam stuff? And I was like, oh, my gosh. And then if I do too much fashion, they're like, well, what happened to Liam? Like, you know, so it's just it's hard to have a balance, Mm -hmm. um, which I'm like next year. I'm definitely going to try to work on that, that balance of fashion and then Liam so um so hopefully there won't be too much Liam 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 <laughs> <laughs> or maybe there'll be more Liam or maybe you know? there will be more I don't so know. how did you I mean how did you deal with that change personally you know I mean uh, to me I'm, I, I'm always interested in you know women who are really pursuing their dream and like mm-hmm. really for doing what they love to do and you're doing it yeah so I you know it was a hard change I even when I had Liam I would kind of like took a little bit of time off but then I realized like okay I need to start getting my videos back on track Um, and I just I found that what I was passionate about was my son so if what I started with in the beginning with my blog and being passionate being very passionate about fashion I was like okay so if I'm passionate about fashion I'm passionate about my son I'm going to share what I'm passionate about right so you know that kind of just made me say hey you know I'm gonna do videos about my son and share with other moms my experience and maybe people will be inspired and see that you know you don't have to completely like fall off the face of the earth just because you have a kid and it was it was very hard in the beginning to like have that balance I'm like when am I going to film a fashion video and you know thank god I have a very supportive fiance where he would be like okay we're going to get somebody to watch Liam me and you are going to go film these fashion videos and like let's let's produce this content because you know, my viewers wanted to s- still see, see, you know, yeah, me yeah, and right, and I, and it's a, and it is a lot of work to have a YouTube a channel, lot. especially you know you have well over a hundred thousand subscribers. You, you know, you have a great following on Instagram, and you know you have to produce content. Right. And I think that's a very also a myth, you know, where it's like, 
oh well she just just she just does like youtube <laughs> like it's you know, yeah whatever. <laughs> and it's it's a lot of work that goes into it i mean it's, it's your own it's business a full-time job oh yeah and earlier we were talking you know you were like oh my god it's so crazy you guys are your business i'm like so do you roxy yeah. i mean you have your i mean you are an, an entrepreneur how did you decide to just say like this is what i want to do I want to do YouTube and you know how right. did and how did your family take it because it, like, like, it was it was family's hard, Latino, I, right? right yeah I worked since I was 15 years old I you know literally would leave high school and I would have so many credits that I can like leave early and go work and so I did that because I wanted to drive a car I wanted to have nice purses and <laughs> purses. I know yeah. you like I know you love yes. purses shoes and accessories yes that's that I learned thing, girl yes <laughs> so I was like you know I got to work hard and and so when I started working, I was like, you know, this is this is great. And I had uh, management positions at retail locations. And I told Javier, my fiance, one day, you know, hey, I want to quit and pursue, you know, YouTube full time. And he was like, are you sure? <laughs> like, uh, you're just going to like quit. And at the time, I was actually a stylist for Bethany Moda, who is huge youtube star mm -hmm. that girl is like she inspired me like really and right. she was she's young mm -hmm. when i met bethany she was 15 years old and oh, she wow. was working her butt off like this girl and i was like wow i i think i was 21 or so at the time when i met her um and she was just working 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 and i mean so was i but we were doing to two totally different, different things, things. Mm -hmm. and although i did have my youtube channel i still focused on you know my my full-time job which was me managing and at the time I was working at Nordstrom and you know still being her stylist for the show that I was on um so I was like juggling both things and then when I said you know I want to take my YouTube to the next level I was like I feel like I need to quit my day job and yeah. do this full-time um so Javi was like okay he was very skeptical because he is like a nine to five corporate like you guys met him he's like super <laughs> yeah. corporate and he is he's such a nice man so by the way is. yeah he's i really love you cool. guys everybody like the best couple everybody always loves javi more than they love me like he's, <laughs> he's so like he's very lovable and he's very likable like even in the vlogs people are like you know, Javi vlogs better than you. Like, I love Javi. And da -da -da -da. I'm like, okay. Um, he's Maybe just, he should start his channel too. Yeah, he's so friendly and so likable. Everybody always ends up like loving him. But um, you're like, yeah, he's not, that's how we feel about with our brother, huh? Yeah, my brother. You should be my charming. brother. Oh, we call him El Charming. Oh, like, El Charming. That's yeah. so funny. Like, because he's so charming, but yeah. charming. El ch -ch 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 charming. Yeah, you know the commercial. Yeah, we always, always call him El Charming because he's like, Everybody that's met him is like, oh my god, your brother is so charming, and I'm like, uh, oh, your you brother is so nice. We love your brother, and I'm like, <laughs> bitch, you're supposed to be my friend. I know, right? <laughs> that's how people feel about my brother too. You know what it is about. But brothers. anyway, let's keep going. <laughs> Yeah, so when I decided to stop, I really saw my YouTube channel kind of like pick up, and then for a while it was just kind of like stagnant. I wasn't really going anywhere, and I was like, okay, what's going on? Is it my content like am I not producing what people want to see mm -hmm. and then you know it started picking back up that's the thing it's like there's so many people it's already oversaturated YouTube like every everything Instagram there's like thousands of you know models now on Instagram and there's <laughs> thousands of youtube channels like mm -hmm. everybody's a fashion blogger everybody's mm -hmm. a beauty guru so it's oversaturated and you just gotta find your niche and when you do i feel yeah. like you know and I, and even finding my niche with like liam like i i realized that there was a calling or like a i guess a channel that people wanted to see you know mom content with their babies and you know we documented everything from our announcement with liam mm -hmm. to i the saw birth. a video of your birth yeah that was birth. amazing i oh, know I, I was like oh, damn i wish i could have done that i know i was very mm -hmm. like skeptical about like doing that and so was javi because like you see it like yeah. you see liam pretty coming much coming out, out mm -hmm. and i mean it's not all like yeah, yeah, yeah. not from the front not from the back. yeah from <laughs> the back but you don't um, get the mirror shot <laughs> right but but it's you amazing know, like it's, even yeah. like years down the road when you see that like it's good right it's so and so every cool. time i see it i cry yeah, <laughs> yeah oh my god i cry I yeah cry. so you know i'm glad we documented all that and you know I, i'm just sharing what i'm passionate about and it's my family and fashion and you know anything else that comes 
our way. Traveling. And you're very successful. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you know, it's been difficult to like kind of juggle having Liam now and my YouTube channel and then still having, you know, my fiance and making time for him and I. And it's yeah. it's a lot of yeah, work. We were, we were talking about earlier, like you actually take care of Liam Every day, Monday, Monday through, through Friday, twenty four seven. Well, I mean Monday through Sunday, really. But <laughs> on the weekends, I try to give I try to give Liam to to his dad. I'm like, here, it's your turn. <laughs> yeah, my my husband has this thing with um where he lately I don't know when it started. That Saturdays is their day. Yeah. So Saturdays is the day where I can actually leave the house. Oh, that's um, nice. And like yeah. today, you know, come to work or do whatever I need to do. And he loves his Saturdays with with the baby. You know, it's like his time. Right. I don't know if I tricked him into that or it just kind of <laughs> happened. Right. But yeah, I, I mean, Bobby tells me that too all the time. He's like, I can't wait till like Liam's off the boob, and then I could just take him when he's like five, and we could just leave you and go have fun and do like guy <laughs> things and i'm like well i can't wait for that time either <laughs> and they should be like you know well here's some bottles yeah <laughs> and i'll see you later but that's the thing liam does not take bottles he oh, just wants boob, boob. yeah mm. i'm like and my mom he's gonna so we're traveling in next a lot of next year and my mom's like you need to get liam off the boob and onto a bottle because if you expect me to watch him he cries when you're not here because he just wants the comfort of your boob. Yeah. And I'm like, oh gosh, it's hard though. Like, yeah, it is hard. It is hard. Same thing. My mom told me the same thing. If you yeah. want me to take care of the baby, you need to take her off the boob. And I was like, no. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, it doesn't mean you have to take him off the boob. Like, I my, I mean, I always gave a bottle to my kid. It was I pumped like crazy. Yeah. And right. like, um, a lot of you guys who've been, you know, listening to the podcast know the struggle that that is. Oh yeah. Of pumping all the time and mm -hmm. you know doing everything. And, but it really helped me like now that, you know, I think it weaned him off earlier I right. think because I was doing half of the time he was on my boob and neither half he was on the bottle, bottle drinking breast milk, but you know, he was doing the bottle. So the I bottle, think yeah. that that really helped me a lot. And I think maybe that's what made him like hate my boob now. I don't know. He doesn't yeah. hate it. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know how to do that transition, but I mean, we're going to, we definitely work on it. He'll Look at me. He'll I'm like touching boob. my breast right yeah. now. <laughs> I'm, like, are, I'm like, what are you I'm doing? Like talking you and I'm, like, I'm like touching my boob as I tell you guys this. this is, what is wrong with me? <laughs> I think that's why he doesn't want it. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> You know, right? Yeah, right now too, we're even producing one video a month for this thing called Vlogmas, mm -hmm. which is on YouTube, and a lot of like YouTubers like to do Vlogmas, which you basically put out a video every single day in the month of December, and oh, it might pertaining yeah, yeah, yeah. to Christmas or just like a, your day to day, like you know? a diary, like right? a diary, okay. yeah. And which that must be so hard. So, yes. Okay, so I saw some of those videos, and all I kept thinking was like, how does this girl? do that mm -hmm. because another misconception of moms who stay at home is kind of like uh, well you know they just stay at home like it's easy oh yeah You're right no. <laughs> and and you know and and then i i saw that's what i used to think too like oh, oh yeah moms, Girl, they too. just stay at home and they don't do nothing or like those housewives like <laughs> but maybe the housewives that don't have kids or something but i don't know but if you have a kid you're just not staying at home doing nothing no. yeah like and then i saw uh, which you know it's a positive and negative i saw another video where you mentioned how happy how awesome it was because you get to see liam's milestones i mean you are there a hundred percent of the time right but at the same time it's I, how i mean it's must be so much pressure i mean even me like trying to post a picture on Insta when I was at home the first three months even like posting a picture on Instagram was like so much work for me yeah. oh yeah you know or like just looking through an e like my emails my you know I'm, I'm always so great at like emails that's like my thing I need to reply right away right but like my e my inbox was just completely full and I remember going into the pregnancy <laughs> saying like oh amazing like when the baby comes and I'm home there for three months like not doing anything <laughs> I'm gonna be so great and I'm, I'm gonna, gonna do answered all my emails yeah I'm finally gonna get time about myself mm, right negative and it's like not <laughs> it, it's, and, and I see your your vlogs that you do every single day with the baby and I'm like how the hell does this girl do it's that? It's hard. Okay, so the secret is when I put Liam to sleep at night, I go and edit my vlogs. And, like, I'll be tired, but I'm like, I got to edit this video. And Liam and Javi will be, like, sound asleep. And I'll be on the floor, like, trying to be quiet with my earphones in my ear, like, trying to edit the video. And then in the morning, I'll upload it. Or if I finish it at night, then I'll upload it at night so it's ready by the morning. But... Yeah, so I do it when he's asleep or like today I have to edit a vlog. We're 
we're going all the way to Fontana for a holiday party. I'm going to be editing in the car while oh, ha- wow. Liam's going to be, you know, probably asleep in the car seat. Javi will be driving. So it's just finding time. And wow. literally when Liam takes naps is when I edit. It's just wherever I could find time to edit a video. It's really? Yeah. Well, I mean, see, ladies, there's always time if we want to do something. Right. Yeah. Yes. And and I think that's also and like a great thing to, to say, you know? Right. Yeah. So my fiance laughs at me all the time. He says, how do you have all this time to like upload these videos every single day when before you had Liam, you were literally you wouldn't even upload one video a week like you could barely <laughs> upload one video a week now you have liam and you're uploading a video every single freaking day like how are you doing it you're, are you super mom or something i'm like i don't know where my time super was. mama hello yeah exactly <laughs> super mama is like i didn't know where my time was or where i was spending my time be- mm-hmm. prior to, like before right? liam mm-hmm. right and we what had was all I doing this before yeah what was i doing with myself before <laughs> like i don't know that's exactly what i always say to myself i know so I'm like too. what was i doing sleeping yeah was I like, Javi tells me all the time like were you sleeping drinking partying hungover I don't know so um, hungover yeah me. and <laughs> now I'm like producing this content and getting it up there every single day all by yourself like, yeah all by herself like yeah. she has no help like that's amazing yeah yeah I mean again like I saw <laughs> and I see how many like more I mean and it's true now that you mention it um going through your channel I was like you have I think the amount of like the same amount of like videos now mm-hmm. than you did like if you count all your beauty ones oh yeah and you count all your Liam ones I think they're like even even now yeah and, and you <laughs> were doing YouTube you've been doing YouTube for four years this, yeah that's yeah amazing. so You're I don't what did we do with our time I have yeah. no idea I have no I have idea, no idea. Uh, when I'm I'm like I'm staying at I'm staying at home with the girls sick and I'm like it's okay when they sleep or something I'll do this I'm like yeah right I never got to do anything right because this week you stayed home twice I so stayed home two what days what did you do during that time <laughs> I don't know you know <laughs> and I, I told my sister like you should like videotape what's happening and you're like and you're like are you crazy like you think I got time to be videotaping this shit I was like when Sabina is sleeping I will do something Sabina was sleeping and Krista was like mommy I'm hungry I want a quesadilla I want this I want that I want, come sit with me come on I don't feel good hug me how come you're not hugging me Aww. you're not hugging me with two hands <laughs> she says that yeah cause it's such a it's such like they compete all the time so if I'm hugging one with one arm, Krista's like, yeah, but you're not hugging me with two arms. And I'm hugging Krista and the other one's like, eh, and she pulls me and it's like, I can't, I cannot, I just cannot keep up. Yeah, I don't know how, <laughs> I don't know how you're doing it, girlfriend. With two kids, like. I don't know how I'm doing it. People that have babies back to back, I'm like. <laughs> I don't know. I always, I was always so scared. I'm always being so scared of like, my thing is like, I, can, I need to have one of the diaper. You know, that's my thing. Like, if, if I want to have another baby, I need to have Savina off the diaper. Right. I don't know. That's just, like, in my brain. But I don't know if that's going to happen. But two babies and diapers? Jeez, what about people great. who are twins? Oh, yeah. My or cousin triplets. has twins. Wait, you're, wait hold it. on. Your sister has how many kids? My sister has five kids. Well, she has six total. When she re- when she married, she took in, you know. The his, extra one. His, yeah, the extra one. <laughs> uh, wow. But she has five. Jesus. And... I'm like, I don't know how she does it. She's, no so she's gave, always yelling at them. So she, gave, <laughs> so she gave birth five times. Yes. Vaginally and everything. <gasps> oh, my God. Five times. No t- drugs. How, how, she's crazy. No drugs? I didn't get a chance to see your uh, birth story video. I mean, I love birth stories. Cause I think it's like, oh, yeah, you guys have to watch it. It's like, it's funny because. Where, well, Javi's like vlogging. That's his first time. I think that was his first time like grabbing the camera. I'm like, Javi, you need to vlog this. <laughs> and he'd be in the hospital and he's like, okay, guys, update. And it's like <laughs> the cutest thing. He's like, Roxy is like being strong. She's this and this. And I was like, now looking back at those videos, it's like, oh my God, how cute. You know? Aww. Yeah. I think, so. you know, I was so cl- I mean, I don't know. I, I didn't want anybody in the room. In the yeah. beginning, I was mm-hmm. like, I don't even want my husband in the room. I just wanted to <laughs> meet me and well, the doctor. I, I, told, I told Javi, I was like, you better not look down there. Like, <laughs> yeah, don't you yeah. look. <laughs> And my mom's like, so it was just my mom and Javi in in the room with us. And my mom's like, look, Liam's coming out. I can see his head. Look, Javi, look. I'm like, Javi, don't you dare. <laughs> and he's like, I'm not looking. <laughs> my mom's like, look, he's crowding. And I'm like, mom, shut up. <laughs> so, but he didn't look. I don't know if my husband looked. I think so. I don't remember. Well, I, <laughs> it's just... It's, you know, it's just a different view. Oh, it's a yeah. different thing. It's, a d- it's different than what they're used to seeing. Let's right. just say that. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I, just wanna I ha- didn't want him to look at me any different. Yeah, that was, you know? that, was the, that was the thing. I think we had a conversation mm-hmm. when you were pregnant about yeah. that. 
um, because we met somebody that like the relationship totally changed after after oh the well. husband was yeah. in the room. But I just think that was just I would and that was my my sister was just like no you know and I was like I don't think so I mean my husband was there both times I'm not sure if he watched I think he did look but you know nothing has changed I mean yeah you know, well, no I mean like I. Th- I think if a man looks at you differently, it's just like, okay, it's maybe you shouldn't be with him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, th- I think the same thing for me. Cause I, I think, I think, yeah, the friends that we had, you know, share that story and then kind of stayed with me and yeah. always kind of freaked me out. But the fact that my husband was just so recently, it was just always like, I need to be in the room. Like, how dare you not want oh, me yeah. there? You're like, Oh my God. Like, but that's what had, I told you. <laughs> yeah. We had this huge <laughs> argument yeah. and I did it, but I didn't get it back then. Yeah. You know, yeah, I, yeah. I feel like before you're a mom, it's your first pregnancy. You have this expectation. You're still a little selfish. You're um, still a little selfish. Uh, yeah, of course you're selfish. You yeah, know, but you're like, like my body, not. Nah, yeah, want to right. Think, you know, but it's like, it's a bond between the dad and the mom. It's it's mm-hmm. just the birth of your child. And a, la- a couple of episodes ago, we had a, a midwife, and then oh. she was talking about bringing the kids. <coughs> remember that mm-hmm. like you should bring your kid into the the liver room. Oh yeah. For the other baby, and I was like, I don't know. <laughs> Not yeah. I don't know that that because she yeah she did say that mm-hmm. and I, I was like your kids people have their kids in the living room mm-hmm. and she was like oh yeah it's wonderful it creates a bond for a lifetime it's you know in- incredible like we see these I could see how that could be yeah. a nice bond because um, my mom was in the delivery room with with you know myself and Javi and the bond that she has with Liam now is like unbreakable oh yeah. my god I think it's like. Me, Nana, which is my mom, and Javi, like, <laughs> for Liam. Like, that's how it, like, my mom's first, my Nana, and then my dad. Yeah. Because the, the bond with my mom and Liam is just, like, it's amazing. Like, it's it's almost as close as mm-hmm. me, you know, yeah. me being his mom. So, um, yeah, I could see how. But, you know, having the kid sit somewhere where he doesn't yeah. see things <laughs> coming out or she, you know, see things coming out. But, um, yeah, I think it's, I think that'd be it's a, something it's an to amazing. look into. It, it's, it's a really, it's a different experience. Mm-hmm. It's, yeah. Uh, I remember, I, I always thought that my mom was going to be too fragile for me when I had the baby because, you know, she's always like very nervous. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but a no, little. it was the total opposite, right? And for you too, mm-hmm. she was there and, and my mom was like so like strong and she was oh, praying yeah. and, and I was like, oh, that was nice. That was a good thing that I had her there. Right. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't imagine not. And, you know, even though my mom has five other grandkids, this was the first time she got to be in the delivery room. So she oh, was right. really okay. like really happy nice. and, um, and you're the baby of that. No, I have a baby sister who's 18. So she's nowhere near ready to have a baby. But <laughs> so, um, so did you find it? Like, so you find, I know we were talking about sisterhoods and that's why I think like kind of what we always call the super mamas, like our super mama sisters, mm-hmm. because it's so different when you meet other moms, right? It's oh, like, yeah. as soon as you meet a mom, you're like, Oh my God. We can really? relate, <laughs> yeah. Especially, especially when you're a new mom. Oh yeah. Yes. I think when you, I mean, and, you know, coming like you're you're 26 years old. I mean, you're super young. I don't know how many of your friends are having kids right now. Yeah. Um. Well, it's it's kind of like half and half. Like I have one best friend that does have a kid and one best friend that doesn't. So, mm-hmm. um, it just I have a lot of cousins that are my age or like a little bit older, and that have kids all like around Liam's age, which is oh, nice. Cause then nice. he's going to grow up with that's a bunch really of kids. Nice. <laughs> no, I, no to me, it's like, you know, when you meet new moms, you're kind of like, Oh my God, like I can talk to you. It just kind of creates oh, yeah. like a, like a different sort of, and you were saying how your older sister with five kids, you guys never really, we never, like you we created never a whole new. Yeah. And it, not only did we not click because I didn't have kids and she had five and I didn't know how to like relate to her and she would always like see me you know me and Javi like traveling or just doing our own thing and being out and about and she was just always at home with you know the five kids so she just thought we were like selfish and (laughs) like we were just like not about it and um like almost like I feel like she hated me sometimes (laughs) and now like we have so much like to talk about and her son which is my godson he's a year and a half and Liam is um seven months so they're gonna like kind of grow up together which is nice yeah um so yeah now we have like so much to talk about but yeah I'll be anywhere like at a cafe or somewhere just me and Liam and like a mom will be like oh how old is your son so there's always just like something to talk about when Always. you're a mom yeah and <laughs> whether it's like breastfeeding or are they the sleeping the struggle at night, man the struggle yeah 
It's That's how it was with my sister and I. I think like we got way closer once I had my kid. Yeah. Because I never understood like <laughs> her life. Yeah. You know? I'm like, <laughs> what do you mean? You have a kid? Okay, well, get over it. And yeah. Then, you know, do this. What exactly. do you mean you're late? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you were always late. <laughs> Don't even try to put that on your That's child. That's so funny because my sister would be like, I have five kids. How am I always on time? And you're the late one. You have just you and Javi. And I'm like. Okay. <laughs> so how do you think has changed Javi? Like, do you see how, like, do you think, how, how do you, because I mean, you guys are, again, you guys are a young couple. You guys have been together for so many years. Yeah, I mean, 12 years. Wow. You, and we're yeah. getting married next year. I know. Yes. To your fiance. Yes. Thank you. I mean, you guys met each other, at, you know, he was in Rubio's, you said, right? Yeah. He, and then mm -hmm. your grandma hooked you guys up. Mm -hmm. So, Pretty like, much. how did you, like, Knowing someone for 12 years and you guys are, I mean, you guys are still young, but you guys are like children. Having fun. Yeah. Party. How, like, how do you see him change? Like, as a, like, so as a I man. I was like, Javi has been, I mean, he is like such a great guy. And I'm just not saying this because he is my fiance, but like anybody that meets him, he, they, like I was say, telling you guys, everybody always loves him. <laughs> um, he is like an awesome guy. He's very like attentive to me. So I was like, oh, he's going to be a perfect dad. Like Liam's going to come out and Javi's going to be like all about it. He's going to know what to do. But although Javi doesn't have any other, Javi's the youngest. So oh, he okay. didn't like have a little sister or a little brother like I did. Um, or he has nieces and nephews, but he never took care of them either. So mm -hmm. he didn't really know how to like change a diaper or anything. But <laughs> I was like, nonetheless, I'm like, he's going to be a great dad. So he you know, Liam comes and he's here and we're like at home. And then we, I realized like we were always like fighting about like how much help he doesn't give me. Mm -hmm. And Javi's like, well, it's not that I don't want to help you. It's just like, I'm a new mom. I'm a new dad. Like, I don't really know what to do. And he kind of felt like, you know, because I was nursing Liam that like he couldn't comfort him. Mm -hmm. yeah, so yeah. now that like Liam is now seven months, Javi kind of gets it. Mm -hmm. And I think it took him a while to like, like, I would talk to Javi's sister. I'd be like, your brother's being a jerk. Like, he's not helping me. And she's <laughs> like, oh, my God, he's so selfish. I'm like, but y you got to think about it. He's he's 30. So for 30 years, he went not having to change a diaper. He's a baby. So he was spoiled. He, he was probably getting his diaper changed. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So he never took care of, like, even his nieces. Um, so this whole role is was, like, completely new. Right. And then Javi was like all about like having fun and yeah, partying yeah. and you know so this this whole daddy role was like whoa like a shocker but like he's definitely getting it and and you could see even in the vlogs like he like will struggle but then it's like but he has so much love for Liam and but you know so it's just he's he's learning as he's going and I think he's definitely a lot better and uh, but he's not too. the perfect father you know he's like he's I think he's a better like husband, fiance, boyfriend, but um, but he's he's getting there. So. And I feel like sometimes as new moms, we don't allow them yes. to right. help us, right? Because um, so they're like you're not doing it my way, <laughs> or you're not doing it right. Yeah. yeah. And I think it's same because I had similar situation with my husband, and you know even until recently when um, the baby was you know crying in the middle of the night and he went to comfort him, he kept crying, and I just got into the room. And he was like, you know, babe, I got it. He was like, you're either going to, like, let me do this on my own or then you should have come. You know, it's like right. yeah. sometimes as moms, new moms, because my sister, when I told my sister this, she was like, oh, girl, I let him do whatever <laughs> it is he needs yeah. to do. I don't care. But, you know, you have two kids. Yeah. yeah. But, like, with me, it's like my first one. And it's like I feel and I feel like my kid needs me. Like nobody right, can right, do it better right. than me. Do not touch my, chil my child. And right. he's like. Well, you know, it's my kid too. Exactly. Yeah. That, that's what I think. I think it's just like <coughs> after you, the person, the next person that should be able to take care of your kids and you should fully trust is your husband. Is your husband, yeah. Or the dad, you know, because who else? Yeah, your mom's there and everything, but your mom has her own life and that right. she already took care of kids and she already has her own, you know, her own thing to do. So if I'm not there, I should be able to fully trust my husband to handle it. However, oh, yeah. he needs he he sees, and later on you'll see like you we have completely different techniques. Oh yeah. And what I do, I'm like, why doesn't it work with him? Or what he does doesn't work when I do it. But the kids also like react differently to to us. So 
it's just you just have to trust them and then if you but just it's let them it's a learning experience i think it Especially is difficult for new parents yeah. it is it is difficult and you know if you see that like you're saying like oh he's not about that you're like how can i trust you then you right. know and then you start doubting yourself i'm not gonna trust you if you don't think you can do it then i'm not gonna trust you right so i think it has to do a little bit about but sometimes you just gotta like Look the other way and just oh, yeah. and just like let him figure it out. Right, right. Yeah, he'll leave like he'll change Liam on the changing table and leave the diaper there. And I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna get mad. Like, <laughs> just left the diaper on this on this change table. I'm yeah. like, whatever works for him. Or like, I'm that's like, happened to me too. I don't understand. Just roll it up and put it. It's right there. The, yeah. the, like you know the the whatever diaper the diaper genie. pail. Yeah. Whatever. It's right there. Just you know fold it. He doesn't. He leaves it on top of the thing. Yeah. We poop. Yeah, Hansa's with poop or with pee, and he yeah. just leaves it on top of it. And I, have, well, I walk in, and I'm like, <laughs> okay, like, is this, that, really, is this really worth, like, me getting into a fight? Like, right, right. Let me just roll it up and put it in there, you know? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Men, I guess they have a different... But, you know, I, I don't think they have that, like, motherly instinct like we do. Like, guys are, <clears throat> like, kind of dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to like man really? bash, but uh, yeah, I'm like, really? I'm like, there, there's this funny video that or not. It's not funny. It's a cute video that I saw on Facebook and it's like an Asian family and the baby's like crying in the crib and the mom takes off to go get groceries and the dad's watching the baby and the baby's crying, crying, crying. And he calls his wife and he's like, the baby's crying. What do I do? <laughs> and the mom's like, pick up the baby <laughs> he picks up the baby and then it's like this like beautiful music and the baby stops crying it's like all you needed to do was pick up the baby so i'm like guys don't really like think like hey it's easier than i think if i just like hold him or pick him up or like try to soothe him especially you know? if like how he's the youngest one of a oh, mexican yeah. family mm -hmm. like come on he's like, mom took care of him oh, you know yeah his oh my took gosh care of him. i just found out the other day his <laughs> sister was like his sister was like you know he was a mama's boy before you yeah. came and i was like of course. <laughs> i was like really i'm like because since i've known him he's always been about like really not his i mean his mom i think his mom kind of like okay fine you love roxy like and just kind of like let him be um and i was like javi you're a mama's boy he was like yeah i'm like <laughs> oh gosh yeah you know, but thank but god now, it didn't like affect him but like, now do you have a son like oh, yes. how do you see oh, that my gosh. right yes right because you're it's like crazy yeah you're like you should call your mom honey yeah <laughs> let me call your mom too you should always love your mom babe. Uh -huh. you know because now it's like no i'm it's, i'm looking for my kid I'm yeah like, i'm like I'm like Liam. I'm the only. Mo I'm the only woman you're gonna love. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and Javi's like, great. <laughs> oh, so. see, that's why I want a boy. Oh, oh my god. Yeah. Okay, guys. Well, let's let's take a break, and then when we come back. We're gonna do um or tip or pick. Of the week. back ladies hello hi 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 roxy you're so pretty <laughs> oh my goodness no i, was I have looking, bags under all this makeup wait i was looking at your i was looking at some videos and when your baby was like a couple months old and you are like under pjs oh yeah we have some and okay, okay like, by the way I was, what? I was like roxy were you really wearing that like on a reg is that how wait, you are at home with wait. those like nice lazy um, PJs? Where did you like get sexy those? PJs? Like sexy PJs? I yeah. was wearing sexy PJs. Uh, well, maybe it wasn't sexy to you, but it was sexy <laughs> to me. Maybe <laughs> us were there. Maybe her sexy <laughs> to her. Yeah, she's like, well, she's yeah, probably like, I was looking like crap. Yeah, because you know, I don't know. Some people are like, oh, you're dressy. I'm like, really? I'm kind of casual. <laughs> Would you consider casual today? I I'm a little dressy today. Okay, okay. No, you had these. Like, okay, there was two. It was a, your morning routine. It was, yeah, video. your morning routine. You had like some oh, little and it was shorts. Like a romper, like a, was it the whole rompers? No, no, no. It no, was no, like no. a like a black little shorts and like a little like lacy uh, black lacy. tank top uh -huh. that had like an opening in the back. It was your morning routine oh, video. Okay, yeah, those are pajamas. Those are pajamas. But I mean, I don't wear those all the time. But I do have them when I wear, when they're like not in the laundry. Then I am wearing them. Those Damn. are cute. Really? Baby. I need to step up my I PJ game. Yeah. <laughs> no, but trust me, girl. I don't look like that all the time. <laughs> trust me. I mean, I, I was like, like, I was like, I was like, is that how she goes to sleep? I was like, is that no, like And then there the was rest? another one where it kind of looks like lingerie because he was see-through. And I was like, mm, I was like, Javi is lucky. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm not going to show no. this to my husband. I need to step up my PJ game. <laughs> no, well, you know what? I okay. heard that though. That's important. I, yes. I need PJs for Christmas. Yes. Sexy okay, PJs. So before you want a lot of shit for Christmas. 
<laughs> before Liam, I would wear like sweats and like a big shirt and you know ugly like pajamas, just regular pajamas. I'm sure everybody wears like yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever, 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 whatever you, whatever you have in your drawer. That free right? shirt you got, <laughs> yeah, yeah so right. I was like, you know, I I'm a mom now. Like I gotta like if. I don't know. I got to look a little bit more dressy, like not dressy when you're sleeping, but like just a little bit more put together because you're always, especially if you're at home and you're a mm-hmm. stay at home mom, you can't just like be in sweats all day. Like no. I'm a firm believer. If you go out into public, you should at least have your hair in a bun, like look half decent. Like you don't, even though you're a mom, you don't want to like just look like a slob. Or right, like, right, right. Yeah. Right. 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 Or, you know, so I was like, so yeah, so when I became a mom, I was like, you know, I'm gonna buy myself some nice pajamas. So I went out and I pick, I got like three like sets of pajamas where they're like cute little shorts That's and a cute really little cute. top. And I saw yeah. them in the video and I was like, those are nice. Those are really nice. Um, you could just share with us where you got those and we'll link them on the podcast. Oh yeah, um, a few of them I got like I think one, I think that black pair that uh, you guys are talking about that was from like JC Penney's and then some other stuff is like Nordstrom. But you can find like sets for like I love Nordstrom. Oh I my like god, I swear that you- by that store. <laughs> I love it. Their return policy is amazing. Like if you don't like it or something, just return it. Like I love yeah. it. That's good. Yeah. I remember that thing that I told you that I bought and spilled all mm-hmm. over, and it's been like a month. It's yeah. from Nordstrom's? It's from Nordstrom. Oh, yeah, you can totally return yes. it. Oh, yes. So that's my tip. Go to Nordstrom <laughs> and buy it and turn it. <laughs> and get no, sexy pajamas. Do and get, get sexy, sexy pajamas. Yeah, and go, okay, so the thing is, because it, it could get really expensive at Nordstrom. Don't go to, like, the lingerie, like, women section. Go to the BP section. It's called BP, which is Brass Plum. I used to work there. That's why I know the like oh, name. Right. Um, and it's like like the teens, and mm-hmm. you can find like they'll have pajamas there, and you buy those pajamas, and they're like thirty bucks for like nice. the whole set. And those are really cute. I was like, I think my husband will like those. Yeah, yeah I yeah, saw right? that, and I was like, I need to really. It, and I totally clicked on me. I was like, that's why we actually look at night. I mean, at least at yes, night, you know. Yes. Yeah. Mm, nice. Good. See, it's like a, it's like a. So remember my tip. <laughs> Yeah, that's a whole tip. <laughs> get some if you're gonna like be at home all day, you know, just get some nice pajamas. At least, at least so feel sexy. Look yeah. sexy. Yeah. But when your husband gets home, you're at least sexy. All right, let's the get to like. Don't okay, think, don't okay, think I look like that every day. <laughs> I'm sure Javi's like comes home and he's like, "What the heck? You need a shower." <laughs> you're like, "You did not record today." Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, so our tip or pick of the week, ladies. Uh, we really did a that was a communal one. <laughs> <laughs> um, Roxy, you have um, a pick. Uh, you said you have a couple picks for babies. So you have a lot of cool stuff. Yeah. So I have a lot of like interesting like products that I'm like finding and things that kind of like help make my life a little bit more like mm-hmm. easier and things like that. And I, my mom didn't even know, but they have like food in these like slurpy type of pouches. like pouches mm-hmm. that are very easy to like feed your baby. And my mom was like, I've never seen that before. And I'm like, what do you mean? You have like five other grandkids. Like, how have you not seen this? <laughs> so I love those things. Um, they come in all different like like flavors mm-hmm. and um, brands. Like, of course, we love like the organic stuff. So we do. I think it's called the Ella. I think it's called Ella's. Um, but those are really good uh, yeah. for babies. Liam loves it when we're like traveling. We're always yeah, on, the go, on the go road yeah. trips mm-hmm. like which he hates road trips, but um, those are like <laughs> easy to like just feed yeah, him. Yeah, I saw you were feeding him one earlier today. Yeah, so he he loves that. It's very easy and it's n- no fuss, no nice. fuss. Nice, nice. Good one. That's a good one. Uh, Paulina, my tip this week is a really really fun tip. Um, I made a new friend. And he gave me his phone number. Okay. Who's your new friend? My new friend is Santa Claus, mommies. <laughs> and I have his phone number. Uh, you guys should call him up with your kids so they can give him uh, their list. And Santa Claus tells them to be good with their parents. So nice. you can juice it up. <laughs> You're juicing it up. Right? Like, I'm juicing it up. I'm like, did you hear Santa Claus? He said, you have to listen to me. So if you're not listening to me, I'm going to call him back and say, do not bring Krista, all those things. No, no, no. i listen, mommy. I'll be a good listener. <laughs> See, ladies? So what's it the works. number? The number is 951-262-3062. Again, 951-262-3062. Call him up. That's Santa's number. Damn, you got Santa on the text. I got Santa yes. on the text. We're BFFs. Yo, Santa. Yo. <laughs> Who are you calling? Santa? <laughs> um, I have a pic that I am going to share that I actually got from one of the moms from our Facebook group. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, I saw that. She posted about an app that she likes that's called the Wonder Weeks. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the parents from my ride class had spoken about it, too. And I'm like, well, this is the second or third time I hear of this Wonder Weeks app. I'm like, "Eh, I'll download it and see what's up. It's pretty cool. What is it about? So you put when your baby was born Mm -hmm. and you put a picture of him. Mm -hmm. And it shows you when they go through leaps. So it's got these charts, as you guys can see, and you see where it has like the the little happy cloud. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's when your baby is like totally in like cool mode that he has gone over the leap. But like there's like a transition a transition period of from leap to leap. What's a leap? A leap is like, for example, like a milestone. Like a milestone. Oh. Like no, but it's not like a milestone. Like where they're like crawling. It's more like um like like patterns in there. Look who's here. Someone's here. My mom. Okay. So it's sort of like. For example, they go through changing sensations, like patterns, like when they notice like what a relationship is like, oh, that's my mom and that's my dad. Like it's more like like um, like a mental milestones that they go okay. through when they realize mm-hmm. something's bigger than other things, perceptions. So it's it's really cool. And, and I've heard like really good things. And then I started looking at the chart and I'm like that we- like. It's so like wait. So you have on. to enter information there. All you have to enter is your you? birthday. All you enter is your birthday. Oh, and then it gives you that. It gives you that. What? Because it's like about like the week. So for so example, so like right now he's like in a happy period. He's like right here. So he's happy. I mean, not like he's not like happy. It's more like he's not as so. I know my mom. My mom would know too because she has been taking care of him. But like in a couple of weeks ago, he was kind of like weird. Like he just kind of gets onto these like moods where I'm like, I don't know what's wrong with him. Like oh, and yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, right, why? Right. Like everything's normal. He's very scheduled, so he, you know nothing's shifted. But it's more like he's going through a mental leap. So like that's what they're going through. Right. Mm. I use an app very similar. I use the bump. I've been using the bump since I was pregnant with mm-hmm. Liam. And it's kind of like that. It tells you week by week, like what's the progress and where he should be at. Like, and you know, how many like milestones he should have like hit by now and what it's kind of like that. So like you can look back and it's like, oh, Liam is this many weeks. He's 32 weeks today. And then it'll say like what he will kind of like be going through that mm-hmm. week. Yeah. Like, right. That sounds interesting. Yeah, yeah sounds this interesting. one's like a little. I think this one's like, for example, this one right. Like right now, my baby is on the um, category sleep. So in the category sleep, it's more like see, compare, and classify. And it says with this sleep, it's time for the world of categories. Now Eduardo learns that a large dog is not a horse, or that a checker cat is not a cow. You will notice your baby investigating everything in his path and studying every detail as he talks. To as he starts to categorize things around him. That takes a lot to consider and compare, and your baby is in love with you and everything in his ever and ever winding world. And it has like the remember things, but mm-hmm. like I really like that chart because it kinda it's almost like your it's almost like a period app where you know when you're <laughs> gonna get your period. It's sort of like a where you know like when your baby's gonna be kinda yeah, like yeah. In a fussy. Oh, so I, I liked it. So thank you, yeah. Mama, for putting that out on our Facebook um, group. I really enjoyed it. And then my second pick, I'm gonna cheat. I'm going to cheat for this one, <laughs> but I have to make our mole the pick. Yeah. So as all of you guys know, we have an online store where we ship mole everywhere. So wherever you mamas are listening to, we will ship our mole jar. And it's so easy to make yes. because all you have to do is open it, pour some chicken broth, some um, potato, p- potato, <laughs> tomato <laughs> puree, <laughs> and that's it. You have mole. And a lot of us are making mole tamales or, and you know, it it's was, Christmas. It was amazing. That's what I was going to say. Did you like I it, right? Just devoured the plate. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the mole we saw in the jar. So it's really easy to make at home, like super easy. And you can make enchiladas or whatever. So I'm going to have to cheat <laughs> this week and bring you a quote unquote sponsored pick <laughs> by Galagetza <laughs> to get the Galagetza mole. And you can find it on store.ilovemole.com. Store.ilovemole.com. Or just go to ilovemole.com yeah. and look it up. Um, and then we'll throw in a little Super Mama bag if you put Super Mama at checkout. No, that's yeah, yeah, we yeah. So, um, all right, guys, that ends our episode, our Christmas special with Roxy <laughs> Yay, Limon. Thank you guys we, for having me. That was thank so you for much coming. Fun. Oh, I thank you for coming. Podcast. It was so nice meeting you. Thank you. Um, thank you. So nice I hope meeting you. Don't let your husband listen because you know we talked about him. Oh yeah, no, he's gonna <laughs> want to. He's been like all about like what what I'm doing on a daily now because I'm like vlogging right now. So he's like. 
he's going to want to hear this. <laughs> <laughs> That's well, cool. All right, ladies. Thank you so much. We're out. And Merry Christmas. Oh, Merry enjoy. Christmas. Yes, enjoy, and don't forget to l- l- um, follow us on Instagram at underscore super mamas. Yes. Don't our, forget to follow Roxy on Instagram. At Roxy Lamone. And her YouTube channel. Roxy Lamone 24. Roxy Lamone 24. And we'll link all this up on our website. All right, mamas. Mm. Thank you so much. Thank we you, are ladies. Out. Thank Bye. You. Super mamas. Merry Christmas. Feliz Merry Christmas. Bye.